Let me tell you guys on in a story right now. So I played myself. I bought my GoPro, I bought my mic, I got all that. But I didn't bring my batteries, I didn't bring a charger, I didn't bring anything. So basically, all I have is 87% to make this entire vlog happen. I'm gonna take some footage from my homegirl Sabrina and Jay Monet. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour. This video is not gonna be as lit as usual, but I'm an idiot. Hopefully though, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update. A lot of things happening on. It's gonna be a one take video. I'm going to SneakerCon Toronto hopefully in two weeks and I'm going to make up for it. If not, I'm 100% going to SneakerCon London in four weeks, October, I think like 5th and 6th, so catch us out there. What's up, bro? Um, obviously something different I've never done before, I'm in the creative section. So like, I have this creative behind me, it's a lot of dope people, I got the homie racks behind me. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of everything that's going on. But alright, let's film this real quick. So I'm going to show you my setup. New merch coming soon, September 13th. You already know the vibes of the 3M jackets. That's the most at every convention. But this is new. That's new. This Jake's T. New mesh jerseys. New hats. Um, she's doing custom hats. We got people shopping the rack. Let's get it. Um, so she's right here. She's doing the custom hats that we're going to do the 13th. As you can see, that's her table. She's working on some there. She's working on some. Those are the denim jackets we're going to finish. So... Here's everything we have here. So this is a whole Queen's takeover at SneakerCon. It starts right here, and this entire thing is mine. Up to this Sean Witherspoon right here. What's your opinion on SneakerCon right now? SneakerCon is lit right now. That's it? <laughs> I don't know. She's vlogging herself. I'm vlogging myself, so this is like vlog on vlog. These hats are about to be lit. They're about to be SneakerCon edition one of ones. And I'm gonna head out SpongeBob boys because I don't know what that was right there. I only have 50% battery, so let's make this a lit ass video right now. Alright, what the fuck is up? What's good? What's good? Making so how do you guys feel about SneakerCon? Walk me through what is happening. Alright, the setup or like everything. Or how I went through everything. Alright, cool. This is my quick one take vlog. Alright, let's start with this masterpiece up, right here. Who is that? That's me, Jennifer Rivas. You can call me Jen. But my Instagram name is J Monet. Not J Money, J Monet. Right. With an A. And four Y's. So just fill in the blanks. Right. Well, I'm gonna add four Y's. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's that's me. That's who I am. Yeah. And now let's take it to my first shoe. The UNC Off-White Ones. Alright, this is my favorite shoe. That's your first shoe? This is my first shoe, yes. This is the first shoe I painted because this is the first sneaker collab I won on the sneakers app. Yeah, and I won three times, bro. Three times. This shoe? On the app. This shoe? Yes, mind you, Nike fucked up and sent me two pairs, one for free. That's why I was like, yo, this is like my holy grail. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever wear them or did you keep them? Yeah, I have one pair for myself. I, re I sold one because I wanted to go on vacation for my birthday, so I used that and sold it. And then I have one still that's up. So look at the detail to this. Right? Yeah, this one is like everything to me. All right, so then we right. got the Travis. We got the Travis Scotts because I personally wish I had a pair of Travis Scotts. And You're gonna get one soon. I am. And the suede was so nice that like I just made the illusion of it being suede too. Yeah. So that's why I love this shoe and I love the pink lace, I love the brown. What a great ball shoe. And then the MoMA Air Force ones are my favorite, favorite you Nike. Like the blue ones? Nah, I don't like the blue ones. It's like a classic look. But I have like three shoes I want the most in my collection. Like I must have. Nah. Well, maybe these, but definitely these and the Sean Witherspoons. I need these okay. and the Sean Witherspoons, and then I need the Chanel Pharrell. Yeah, like but yeah, I need to, I need to get up there first. <laughs> Oh no, and the Alele Maze, the first Alele Maze. Black and green yes, yeah, I need those. So those are like the three shoes I need in my collection. Alright, now taking it over to your in line. Everyone knows what this is. You're in line. This is the waiting room. Yeah, this is like before the L. And this is like where you have hope that you're gonna get a W, but you know you're gonna get an L. So this is it. I'm gonna definitely paint the um, uh, bottom one and. Uh, Sorry next time, or like, sorry your entry wasn't selected. So that's how that came about. Sakai. This is definitely a pair of shoes that I wish I got as well. 
that colorway? Yeah, that colorway is to me is like the best one. Um, I just feel like it's such a like such a dope shoe, and I feel like it goes with so many outfits, and you can totally dress it up and dress it down. Like it's one of those shoes, so that's why I painted that one. And then the Sean Withers. These I must get one day. Like I have to get these. And I'm doing this live right now. So my concept for this one is, you know, it has the corduroy and you know how the shoe is like a wavy shoe. So I'm going to get some yarn, which is in the bag there, and I'm going to actually create a wave. And it's going to come around the shoe. So it's not going to be on the shoe? No, not on the shoe. Around it. Yeah, like around. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that and that'll be done today. And lastly? Lastly, my print. These are so cute, mini versions of like my big paintings. And then I got these nice frames. And where can they find these prints? At what website is coming soon? Website is coming, J Monet website. J Monet Arts is coming soon. Monet Arts! So my baby prints. Yeah, so you're going to find this on my website that is coming soon. But ultimately you can find it on my Instagram. I'll show you guys. Bam, that's my card. My business card. So I also am going to change the colors of these every time I release new business cards. And this is the back. My email and my Instagram. And I'm gonna create a Twitter also. So I need to get on that. Get on that wave. So it'll have my new cards will have my Twitter, my email, my Instagram, and my website. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so let's pull up on Jake right now. You already know. LOD clothing made it all the way from the bay to DC, butterfly flex, fire, fire, fire. Got the hoodies. Got the hoodie that's dropping soon right here. Hey, hey. Oh, I didn't even know I had a butterfly on the back. Oh, quadruple flex. Way before the fame. Ready. I forgot to show them the pants. Good. Pants coming soon. A little pistachio fit, you dig? Hey. Yeah, I feel like a proud parent right now. Jay Monet is getting interviewed on TV. It's, it's like, I love to see people win, man. I, I'm about to cry right now. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. Look at this. Look at this right here. I feel like a dad who just seen his daughter go to college right now. Her first ever convention, out here making moves. Battery's on 30%. It's five o'clock, we got two hours left. Um, as usual, Sunday's pretty slow. I think I did like, maybe like eight, 800, maybe seven, eight, seven to 900, because I didn't count it yet, yesterday. And today I'd say I did maybe, kind of maybe the same. It's slower, but on a two-day convention, what you have to realize is that like most people come both days. So like Saturday is just a day to like walk around, shop. I mean, not really shop. Walk around, just hang out, chill, see people that you met on like YouTube and all that stuff. And then Sunday's the day that like, all right, today's the last day of the convention. I have to buy it. So I don't have as many like, let me show you the thing. It's more like, all right, I saw this yesterday. Like, oh, I want to buy this. It's more of those today. So I'm pretty happy. It's lit. But I'm really happy that they came through. Like, I'm happy that J Monet's getting our stuff out there. A1 Art's getting our stuff out there. No, they're not going to make, like, the most money ever, but it's the first ever sneaker con, and they're doing very well. Like, a lot of networking. They're going on a lot of people's Instagrams. And to me, that's really what it's about. Yes, you want to make the money. Stuff like that comes naturally, because when you're at sneaker con, you're in that environment. Like, you have the people there already. You're shared on 50 people's story. Like, maybe that guy that put you on his story didn't buy something, but that doesn't say that his followers won't. So, if you guys are thinking about coming to your con, definitely come. I met a dope girl today and she said that my videos inspired her. I'm gonna insert that clip right here. Can you just say that again for the camera? Wow. He inspired me to come here to Sneaker Con. I watched all his videos. Wow. Right here, my brain is part of it. Step over there, but yeah, if you want to see about my here, so I appreciate what you're doing, man. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep doing it. Everything, how you count the money at the end, yeah. all that stuff. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just say it 100 tomorrow, though. I mean, 1100, yeah. you can't say it. Oh, this probably doesn't come out here. Oh, really? I already know how I'm going to do, but I'm mainly at 20. Yeah. Trial and
crazy to me that like I don't even have a hundred subscribers and like I'm actually helping people and that's literally all way from it was supposed to be from the beginning like it was never about like clothing lines and just helping people like literally this convention is my favorite in a maybe ever solely because of the fact that not even about sales I don't care how much money I made but I'm doing what I've always been doing cool but I'm experiencing it with two other entrepreneurs and they're from Queens like she's doing a hat for a client She's displaying all her art. She's displaying all her stuff. She's selling a bunch of hats. And then Jay Monet's doing the Sean Witherspoon still. You guys haven't seen. That shit really brings a tear to my eye. Like, it's crazy that they've both never been to senior con. They came to me. Everyone's growing. Everyone is building. So here we have the Way Before the Fame A1 Art custom hand painted hats that are dropping September 13th. If you don't already know, they also have a matching jean jacket. Anyways, so it's about seven now. Show's coming to an end. It's been lit. I don't know how much I made yet. Hopefully, my camera's on 30%. Remember, if you're just like watching this video now, I have no charger. I started at 100 because I left my crib at 100%. I haven't touched it yet. I realized like halfway here, like yo, I don't have anything. I lost my. I forgot. We're here at Sneaker Con and how did you feel about your first Sneaker Con? I felt like it was a great experience. I got to network with a lot of people. I got to meet a lot of people. People from Washington bought my art and bought clothes, so it was super dope. Are you really on the phone? He's really on the phone right now. But yeah, it was great and I'm so glad I got this opportunity. I definitely want to come to another one. I don't know if it's going to be Chicago or Toronto or where it's going to be, but I definitely want to do another one. And yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say other than how are you guys? It's me. Again. And again. And again. And again. And again. The homies that pulled up did a great job. I'm really happy how the turnout went. I wish I would have got more footage, but congratulations. I played myself. Forgot my entire camera bag, batteries, SD cards, everything. So congratulations part two, because while editing this video, I realized I could have easily just bought a charger for the GoPro. And while I was there, I could have just been charging it every time it died. So we're going to work with what I have now. And like I said earlier, I might be going to Senior Con Toronto in two weeks. I'm definitely going to London in four weeks. So hella vlogs and hella videos coming soon. Now let's action how she went. So Jen, tell me how your experience was for your first Senior Con ever. It was great. I'm really tired though. You're really tired? <laughs> yeah, I'm exhausted. Well, what do you get rated for 1 out of 10? Would I rate sneaker con one at a time? Your experience. Oh, my yeah. experience? Alright, I rate it as in like exposure wise and like opportunity wise, like a 10. And then as in like myself, learning what I could do better, I rate myself like a, like a 7 and a half, 8. Really? Yeah, I think I could do better. Like I'm like, I'm like oh, I know I can do what I can do next yeah. time. I mean, it's always one for a Yeah, of course, exactly. So I'm happy. I'm happy you guys came. I'm happy you oh, invited you. me. No, no, no. I'm happy you guys came. It's lit. Let's get out this place. I'm gonna start packing up everything. Alright, so post production Nicholas is back. A lot just happened in the last four minutes, but basically it's now Tuesday. SneakerCon ended on Sunday. I haven't counted my money yet. I've been dying to do it, but I wanted to do it live on camera. I didn't want to count it and then do a fake reaction right now. So we're going to count the money now. We're going to see how much I did. I think I did at least like, if I had to guess, I'd say at least like 1300 Um, But this is different from my other conventions because usually I do like, let's say 15, 2000 or whatever the case may be, but my expenses are much higher. So because I went with three people, Jay Monet, A1R, and her friend, like all four of us basically split the costs for the most part. Um, and my expenses were very low. So I think my expenses were only were like $400, $500. So even if I do 1000 my net is going to be more in comparison to trips where I go by myself and I end up having to pay 1000 and I make $1,700. I'm only netting $1,700. So let's count the money now. Um, I'm going to start with electronically, uh, cash app. Let's see. Cash app, we have 230. So 230. Uh, Venmo, we have, I think, 200. Venmo, we got 
200, so 430. I made a mistake last time counting, so let me not do that again. So 430. PayPal. We got, so 430. 477, so let's just say 480. So that's 900. 900 electronically. And cash wise. I need you to see the cash. All right, cool. So cash wise, I have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this is seven hundred. So seven hundred plus nine hundred is sixteen. Seven, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Let's just say eighty. So what was that? Damn, I forgot. Sixteen eighty. Am I right? I had 900, then 700. So yeah, 1680. So 1680. Lit. I'm very happy with that. Um, I like I said earlier, my net is way higher. So like I made let's say 13 or 1200, and that's really good for a convention. Seeing how it's a two-day show, my expenses were low. I didn't really do much. We shared a minivan. We shared the table cost. So like even if you want to go to convention as a vendor, try not to go by yourself. You don't really have to go with another person that's selling something. Because I learned it's like on my past trips, like if I went with someone that has an exact clothing line, you kind of take money from each other, not in a bad way, like not that it's competition, but like someone, people don't really go to sneaker con to not buy hype things, especially like not hype brands. So like try to go with someone that's even just your friend. Like you see, I always go with my friend Oren and like we split like hotel, rental and like the plane ticket, but I don't split like the table because he's not there to make money. So that's another good advice to give you. Um, this concludes the video. I'm really happy. Catches in Toronto in two weeks and catches in London in four weeks. And I'm out.